Starting a new business or rebranding an existing one and need help with your tagline, I'm here to help. I have three tips that can help you have your tagline created and powerful within one hour. Welcome, my name is Tiffany Haynes with TiffanyHainesCo.com, bringing you tips and information to making your office more efficient. So if you're new here, please subscribe as I support you on your entrepreneurial journey. So today's a fun one. We're gonna talk about taglines, which um, you either have, um, you need to create, or you're looking to rebrand, right? So if you're watching this video, you're somewhere um, in one of those three categories, and I wanna help you with how I have created my taglines, and then also how I've helped clients create theirs. And so, uh, you know, taglines can sometimes be an afterthought, right? They're not always intentional. And so I want us to ensure that we're being intentional with this and that we're using something that we can use for a long time. It may transition over the years, um, as, as it should probably. Just with the success you may have, you, you may have a desire to transition into something else. But it definitely should start out with something you're excited about. It's not going to be cringeworthy later. It's not dated with the times, right? We want it to be timeless and all that good stuff. So I'm going to give you three tips, as normally as I do, um, that are going to help you create that. So the very first thing um, I want you to write down, download our free download that comes with um, this video, is just in plain terms, I want you to write out what you do, right? Just what do you do? Um, in its most simplest form, it may take two to three sentences to get it out, but it's explain what you do. It doesn't have to be poetic, right? Just explain what you do. And then the second thing that I want you to do is what is significant about your business in regards to the competition? What is significant in your business or what is significant about your business in regards to the competition? There should be something that's different about yours amongst your competition. There should be, there's there's a strategy, there's something, you know, sometimes with real estate agents, you know, he, the, the agent's a former veteran and they like supporting veterans and they're really um, integrated into the veteran loan programs and they work with, with lenders that have those additional certifications that you can get where you help veterans um, get into their homes and you actually know all the different tax laws and different things like that. Like there's something significant about yours that, that we want to make sure that um, we document that as well. Okay. And then the third thing I want you to write down is what is the end goal of your client after experiencing your service or product? What is the end goal of your client after experiencing your service or product? So um, I'm going to show you how I follow this process with um, with one of my companies. So so we own up a planner business called Beyond Routine Planner. Some of you um, found me through uh, that business, so you're familiar with it. But if not, we design daily planners for real estate agents and entrepreneurs. OK, so if somebody says, what do you do? We design um, planners for real estate agents and entrepreneurs. What is what is significant about your business in regards to the competition? So what is significant about ours was that um, as we um, were using planners, so Tristan and I are co-owners in that company, as we were using planners, we realized that it, it did not have what we needed to maintain a business, right? Most planners um, are designed, there's, there's a couple things. They're designed for the kind of stay-at-home mom. It's really kind of trying to help them with the menus and the kids and the running around. And it doesn't have anything that pertains to business. Or it had everything pertaining to business. And it wasn't necessarily designed, um, you know, for a woman. Like, it was just a general business planner. There was nothing cute about it. It just was what it was. The content was in there. It was supposed to be a value and you have to be happy with that, right? So we're like, what if we merge both, right? We're going to merge personal and business. We're going to make it something that they love carrying around year round, right? Something that's beautiful and they don't mind using year round. And then more importantly, we wanted to ensure that, and this was our end goal. So what is the end goal of your client after experiencing your service or product? We wanted to ensure that they could properly get out their dreams for themselves, plan accordingly, and have some type of accountability after that. So it could be something where we, we make sure that we have weekend reviews of how did things go that week? How can we pivot? How can we change? What are our goals for the next week? And then we do that at the end of the month as well because it was important to us 
to fully have, it's a six page dream series, right? Where we really get out all the things that you wanna do. Then we plan and then we make sure that there's some type of accountability. So once we looked at all those components and answered all those, those questions, uh, we ended up doing our tagline, which was dream, plan, execute, right? So once you get all this information out, you want to solidify it and then you want to condense it down to less than one sentence. So your tagline should be less than one sentence. It shouldn't be a full sentence. It shouldn't be two. Um, it should be five, six words or less that should be able to explain what you do um, and what your intentions are and even have, have some element of what the end goal is going to be for the person that receives the product or service. So be sure to do the download. It really walks you through these steps. Join us in the comments as you talk about some taglines that you may be playing with, or you can join us in our private Facebook group if you want a more private atmosphere, but we are here to help. This one is, is it's a cool thing to, get, to do, but you definitely want to do it right. And so we're here to help. So if you found value in this, please give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.